Hey everyone, this is Andrew Tai, and welcome to my YouTube channel. So if you didn't know, the Mac Studio is basically composed of a couple of large fans here, and you might want to know how to control the fan speed of this so that you can get the maximum performance out of the Mac Studio, or you might want to actually turn down the fans as well if it's a little bit too loud for you. The tool we're going to be using today is called TG Pro, and this piece of software has a trial, and if you click the link at the top of this video description, then you'll be able to take advantage of a 50% discount. So to download the trial, we're going to go ahead and click the Download Now button. Once that's downloaded, we're going to go to Finder, and then we're going to go to the Downloads button. And then we're going to wait for TG Pro 2.6.8 to download. So once TG Pro 2.6.8.dmg has downloaded, we're going to go ahead and double click in order to mount the image file. And here we've got the icon TG Pro, we're going to drag this into the applications folder. And once we've done that, we're going to scroll down and we're going to find TG Pro here. So now I'm going to double click on this. Now I'm going to press open here. And now what it's done, it has opened up a trial. So I'm going to continue the trial here. And here we can see the sensor monitoring. So we can see all of the temperatures of the different parts of the computer, including the CPU, the GPU, the hard drive, the logic board, etc. So in order to control the fans, what you can do is look at this section here on the bottom of the screen. And what we have are two main fans here, the exhaust left and the exhaust right. We can tweak this by pressing the three dot button here and this is gonna to go to our preferences section. And here we can add a bunch of rules, what percentage of fan speed we want when we get a specific temperature on a specific sensor. You can also go ahead and switch which type of default profile you want to use. So if we're on system here, we're just gonna use Apple's default fan control curves. However, we can go ahead and press the max button here, and that's gonna put the fans on maximum. So just try this now. So now we're hitting the maximum RPM, and as you might be able to tell, it's very loud. You can see these red lines here. And if I turn the computer around, the fan's kind of blowing like this. You can kind of see this. The uh, poster is like that. I'll change the fans back to system. And we're back to relatively silent cooling. So anyway, that is how you go ahead and control the fans on the Mac Studio. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.